So my previous game, 9x9, took 3 months to develop despite looking like it took 3 days. So this time, I'm making a game in 12 hours. Don't Touch the Spikes is a Flappy Bird spin-off with a twist. Instead of constantly travelling to the right, you bounce between two walls with ever-increasing spikes. But mobile games have a problem. They shove an ad in your face almost as often as I abuse substances. And by that I mean, of course, coffee, because coffee is tech- well, uh, caffeine is technically a drug. It's almost 5am. 4.55pm. I will finish. As always, we start by making a new project. And in that project, I create a template 2D character. And now to add some collisions to the world, <clears throat> now I can run and jump like a platformer. But in Don't Touch the Spikes, your character is always traveling left and right, and you only control the jumping. This was extremely simple. It just moves until it collides and then flips the movement. And after some tweaks to the gravity, jump height, and speed, I think it's close enough to the original. But you might notice we're missing some spikes, and that's kind of the point of the entire game. So maybe I should do that next. So first things first, I made some very complex sprites in Illustrator, like this triangle and this rectangle, and I had a bit of a hernia working on this bird, but it turned out quite close to the original. And after importing and assigning the textures, that's one hour on the clock. <laughs> it's now 7.12. I am very stuck trying to spawn the little dots that show when you jump. Uh, so, instead of doing that, I'm going to give up and have some breakfast. Now that I've revitalized, I want to work on these dots that spawn behind the bird when it jumps. So the dots spawn now, I just need to make it fade and shrink out. This bug makes me think of that one incredible scene. And now, they fade out and delete themselves to reduce any possible lag. That I'm now realizing I've procrastinated making the spikes work, despite it being, again, the entire premise of the game. So now, finally, the spikes can kill you. I've made a little ragdoll, but I need to make a new sprite and rotate it like the original game. Much, much better. And we're making good time, as it is currently 9.17. So I think it's time for a small coffee break and some morning tea. Ah, <sighs> just had... A coffee break and a bit of morning tea so that's not good I need to lock in the way the side spikes work in the original is each round upon hitting a wall the old wall spikes despawn and new ones on the other side spawn the amount of spikes is just dependent on how many points you have under five points it's three spikes five to ten points it's four spikes and so on but to spawn the spikes I get the number values of the y-axis of where the ten spikes would spawn and depending on the bird's facing direction, the appropriate x-axis. I then run through a for loop depending on how many spikes I'm spawning, and when a value is selected, I spawn a spike there, and take it out of the array so that there are no double ups. And here's a working. And that's the core mechanics done, with three hours remaining. Now onto some delicious candy. The candy is currency, you use it to unlock birds in the original, as well as being useful in other game modes. I'm not making the other game modes, I don't have the time and it just spawns in a random spot on the opposite wall, as long as there's no other candy already spawned. And with two hours left, the candy is done. <sighs> 3.11. 10 hours since I last played League of Legends. <clears throat> but I pushed on, which means now I can really wrap everything up, like candy. <laughs> no, but really, I need to start displaying points on the back wall, menus, resetting the bird to the start, and after all that, with two minutes remaining, I'm done. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Now I know what absolutely none of you are thinking. Can I try this masterpiece out myself? Well, no. I'm not releasing it to the Play Store due to it being a blatant copy, but I'm currently working on a new game which will release to the Play Store without ads, which has similar movement to this. It's kind of like if Geometry Dash and Celeste had a very lame child. 
It's not very complex, so it won't take that long to make, but if you're interested, feel free to subscribe and I'll release a video about it when it's done. Thanks for watching.